Hello everyone, my name is Alex and uh, here we will see a series of tutorials about how to do speech recognition in Java. Uh, more specifically, we will make uh, a calculator which uh, can do mathematical calculations uh, based on your voice and what you say. So we will use Sphinx 4 uh, library which is a flexible open source framework for speech recognition um, you can find the link for the site uh, below the video and uh, you can go on tutorial you can go on the link which is saying building the application with Sphinx 4 and uh, here I want to say some more things about uh, Sphinx 4. It is a pure Java speech recognition library. It provides a quick and easy application programming interface to convert uh, speech into text using some acoustic models. It can be used on servers and in desktop applications. So in this series we will make a desktop application. Besides speech recognition with Sphinx 4, uh, we can identify speakers, adapt models, align existing transcription to audio for time stubbing, and more. Uh, it supports English and uh, other many other languages. So, in these tutorials, we will make uh, the calculator in the part one to recognize uh, uh, numbers from one to nine and um, then it uh, will do a mathematical uh, calculation on them for example you can say one plus one and you can say so result and uh, it uh, will show uh, two after that, we will add uh, a text-to-speech library, as I have shown in another tutorial. So, um, when the result is uh, coming out, for example, 2, we will have a woman voice, which will uh, gently say the result is 2. So, let's start. Open Eclipse create a new project a new Java project here name it uh, uh, simple uh, speech uh, calculator okay go on source new package name it model go here new source folder name it resources go on resources new uh, package and uh, name it grammars it will contain the grammars for our application in the resources new package and name it libraries here we will have our libraries that we will use click OK and finish go now on GTube the link is below the video and uh, download uh, the folders that I have in part one so in the source folder you can go on model copy it drag and drop here yeah copy um, here on the resources folder go on grammars uh, take the grammars and uh, copy it into here uh, in the close the window in the resources uh, in the libraries copy the two libraries Sphinx for core and Sphinx for data. Copy them into libraries. OK. Go here on useful docs. Um, copy uh, the Sphinx for. No, no. Go here, useful docs, copy that and uh, paste on the project. We will use this doc uh, later. OK. Go here, build path, configure build path. Add jars. Uh, from speech simple speech calculator 
go on resources, libraries, sphinx for core and sphinx for data. Select them with control, click OK, apply, and then again OK. Uh, go again on build path, configure build path, go on sphinx for core, one uh, here, go on. Lo Java doc location, Java doc location path, browse. No, no, go on Java doc in archive, browse. No, go on workspace file, browse. Here, resources, no, useful docs, Sphinx for core, Java doc, this. Click OK, apply, OK. So now we have built it our project. You can open uh, the main class to see the code. And uh, if we run this, that was part one about how to build the project. In the part two, I will show you how to run it and uh, what you need. Thanks for watching, and I see you all very soon.